friends in this video i am going to explain one important problem of class 12 where we have to find the foot of the perpendicular from the point 2 3 minus 8 to the line 4 minus x by 2 y by 6 1 minus z by 3 for this first we have to write this equation of line in standard form rewrite the like it is 1 minus z it should be z minus 1 so which is possible only by taking minus sign out so that minus will be in the denominator so we will be writing this cartesian equation Uh, once again similarly here also x minus 4 so minus 2 will come in the denominator as we take out the minus sign common so let's see how we can draw it find the foot of the perpendicular so first we have to draw the point let the point be 2 3 minus 8 uh, to the line 4 minus x and after rewriting this equation of line is 4 uh, x minus 4 upon minus 2 Is equal to y upon six is equal to z minus one upon minus three. So this is equation of line. We know this uh, denominator is direction ratio. Let us say this is point P, this is point Q, and this is line L. So two six minus three is the direction ratio of the line L. And uh, let's find the direction ratio of line PQ. Line PQ. So direction ratio of line PQ is uh, <coughs> two. Minus the coordinate of this point, so any arbitrary point on the line in parametric form can be written as this, like x comma y comma z will be uh, just shift uh, the corresponding coordinates in this fashion minus two lambda plus four, so minus two lambda plus four for x. Now for y, if we solve it is six lambda, and for z, if we solve this will be minus three lambda. And then minus one shifted to this plus one. <clears throat> so this is minus three lambda plus one. So let us say this is the coordinate of point Q. Any arbitrary point has this coordinate. So now what will be the direction ratio of the uh, line when two points are given? It is nothing but their difference, right? So this minus this. So two lambda plus four minus two is uh, minus two lambda plus two. As two is subtracted from this. Now for the y coordinate, it is six lambda minus three. Now for the z coordinate, it is minus three lambda plus one minus of minus it is plus eight. So this will be minus three lambda plus nine. So this is the direction ratio of PQ. This is the direction ratio of PQ, and minus two six minus three is the direction ratio of L. Now when we see What is the relation between PQ and line L? They are perpendicular to each other. So whenever the two lines are perpendicular, dot product of their direction ratio is zero. So we just have to multiply the corresponding direction ratios. So we will write since PQ is perpendicular to the line, uh, dot product of their Direction ratio will be zero as per the property. So here, how we will do? How we will uh, find the product? The product would be minus two. This is minus two. Minus two into this. So minus two into minus two lambda plus two. Then uh, six into six lambda minus three plus But here sine is minus so minus three into minus three lambda plus nine. So here minus three lambda plus nine. Then we do it should be equal to zero plus four lambda plus thirty six lambda minus zero minus is plus nine lambda. And let's write the constant terms together. Minus two into two is uh, minus four. Six into minus three is minus eighteen. Then minus three into nine is minus. Twenty-seven is equal to zero. Now, when we add all this, we get forty-nine lambda. And when we add all this, eight plus four is twelve. Twelve plus seven is nineteen. Two, three, four. So this will be minus forty-nine is equal to zero. When we shift forty-nine to the right-hand side and this forty-nine in the denominator, the value of lambda we get is one. Now just put this value in the foot of the perpendicular point, which was Q. Uh, and the coordinate was minus two lambda 
plus 4 6 lambda minus 3 lambda plus 1 so when we put 1 in lambda what we get is minus 2 plus 4 is 2 and this is 6 and when we put 1 here minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 so 2 6 minus 2 is the foot of the perpendicular and already point P is given to us 2 3 minus 8 easily we can find out the shortest distance between the two points using distance formula which we have already seen so using this distance formula x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square plus z2 minus z1 the whole square distance between the two points can very easily be calculated so when we put it in the formula we get 2 minus 2 whole square 6 minus 3 whole square minus 2 plus 8 whole square and by substituting which we get under root 45 units as the distance between the two points.